Hey, it's Mandy with Decarcerate Louisiana. Okay, the rally's tomorrow. We're starting at one o'clock at the Old State Capitol. We'll have refreshments and drinks there, listen to amazing speakers. Then we'll march singing songs of freedom. It'll be beautiful to the state capitol. Um, we'll have additional speakers there at the capitol. Um, again, starts at one, should end around three. We hope you can join us. We wanna join Colorado, Nebraska, and Utah and remove the slavery clause from Louisiana Constitution. Um, the Louisiana Constitution, Article 1, Section 3 states that slavery and involuntary servitude are prohibited except as punishment for crime. So we want to prove that this is rooted in racism. Um, recently, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the Louisiana 10-2 split jury verdicts were unconstitutional, that they were rooted in racism and um from the Jim Crow era. So when Louisiana citizens realized this, they were outraged and voted to have this practice done away with. Um, and so that's what we want to do and we will do tomorrow is prove to you that the 13th Amendment and the subsequent um, state constitutions as is the Louisiana State Constitution Article 1, Section 3, that they are rooted in racism. And you can see that if you look back at history at what was going on at the time that the 13th Amendment was passed into law, that it was rooted in racism. So after the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, um, we got a new president, a Andrew Johnson. And throughout history, there are many, um, he was quoted um, making many racist comments. Um, he favored a white man's government. Um, he was quoted as saying, white men alone must manage the South to California Senator John Kness. He also insisted that blacks possess, possess less capacity for government than any other race of people. No independent government has ever been successful in their hands. On the contrary, whenever they have been left to their own devices, they have shown a constant tendency to relapse into barbarism. So that's, he was quoted as saying that. While he was in office, the 13th Amendment was passed into law, which outlawed slavery except as punishment for crime. And then the 50 states adopted identical constitutional provisions. So this was passed into the law at the same time as black co codes were going on. The black codes um, therefore were sentencing freed men to prison terms and forcing them into labor without compensation. No different than before when slavery was legal. So that's what we want to do tomorrow is to prove that the 13th Amendment and the Louisiana Constitution Article 1, Section 3 is rooted in racism. Please join us. Um, like I said, we want to join Colorado, Nebraska, and Utah, um, these three states that have um, come together and voted to remove these slavery clauses from their constitution. And we hope that Louisiana can finally do something right and um, be one of the first states to do this. Um, I think we have it in us. I think there are so many people in this state that care and we outweigh those horrible racists that do exist. But we have to come together as a grassroots organization and fight for the freedom of all um, and for an end to slavery and to abolish slavery in Louisiana Constitution and in the Louisiana criminal justice system. So please join us tomorrow, one o'clock at the Old State Capitol.